Well, good evening, folks. Mark Emery here. My clock says nine o'clock, so we get started. Unlike so many others in this world, <laughs> have a hard time figuring out that concept. Um, anyway, very glad to see you. Let me just uh, go over a few ground rules and tell you what to expect here so we can uh, proceed in an orderly fashion. So here's what I'm going to do tonight. I have a few slides prepared that I'm going to present that pretty much represent some of the general areas that we work in, in the law club, the general areas of interest that we provide resources and solutions, all right? So we're going to take a quick look at those general areas. I'll give you a brief overview. And in each section then, if you've got uh, comments or questions you want to add, Maybe you've got your own experience or testimonials. Maybe you've got questions to, you want to find out more about uh, what's available in the membership in that subject matter or what one might expect to accomplish. That would be the time to address those particular issues. Okay, so I'll give a quick overview on each general area as I pull up the slide and we'll have uh, basically a Q&A on each segment. Okay, uh, if you don't First thing I'd like to introduce to you in terms of the activity that we have, courtroom procedure. All right, obviously the law club represents uh, items related to law, right? Okay, this is a big item. Well, it's, it's not a big item unless you need it, right? And there's a lot of folks that, you know, pretty much have the attitude that, uh, well, you know, I don't need to know so much about that. You know, I'm not an attorney. I don't need to get into all that. Um you know, I got a low profile, I'm not doing a whole lot uh, to get myself into trouble, and that's all wishful thinking, I'll tell you right now. Every year, there are tens and tens of millions of cases that run through the courts, and I think most of us understand now that the courts are not about justice. They're about business, all right, and if there's a way they can squeeze a few dollars out of your pocket, they'll do it. They'll drag you in. That's how the, the government makes money. Okay. So that being the case, um, you need to prepare. And the time to prepare is not after something already starts happening. All right. Now, there are some things you can learn that don't really require a whole lot of time or commitment. But if you do a little bit, in advance and start to understand the ropes, you'll be much better off when the time comes to um, be able to defend yourself or basically just nullify uh, any cases that might come, come up against you. All right. So, and there are things that can be done to basically make yourself pretty much immune from cases, criminal, civil, whatever the case might be. Okay. So, there are things that can be done, and we're learning new things all the time. Let me say in advance that, uh, all right, here's this guy, me, Mark, has, uh, you know, this experience and that experience and decides to try to organize it and put it together in something that's shareable, all right? So now we put together the law club, just kind of give you a little uh, history and uh, concept of what's going on here with the law club. So, so here we have the law club all of a sudden. And now you get not only the benefit of the experience that Mark has, but the whole idea of the law club is to bring others in who have their own experience. All right. So whereas I may have started the snowball rolling down the hill, others are simply contributing to that and adding momentum. So when you join the law club, you're not just benefiting from the the personal hands-on experience of one individual, i.e. me, but the true benefit is being able to learn from other members who are walking the talk, okay? Um, and having real-life experiences in many of the uh, areas that we're discussing here tonight, all right? So with that conceptual uh, background, uh, let's proceed. So on courtroom procedure... Um, without getting into uh, specific training or details, 
Um, does anybody have any comments or questions on that they'd like to throw in at this point? I'll pause during these slides and give you an opportunity to uh, ask your questions on what might be available for benefits, what's involved, what, uh, what can be expected, things like that. Now, let me see here. Let me go over to chat. Just looking at what you got going on. Some of you having audio problems. Yeah. Uh, you know, we get a lot of folks trying to do everything on a cell phone. And uh, generally, when there's technical problems, they come from cell phone connections. So uh, whenever you can, use a laptop or a computer, desktop, something like that. It seems to work much better. Hello, Mark. This is Xavier. I just had a question quickly. Yeah, Xavier, go ahead. Yes. Um, when somebody buys into the Lighthouse Law Club and they need help with the courtroom procedure, now, would they have to, uh, would they simply do the chat with people that have been in the area or would they pay for another service within the Lighthouse Club, Law Club to provide them that information? Well, um, you know, there's always a dozen ways to slice something up, you know. Uh, there's, different, there's different options that people have, and that's the beautiful thing. They can kind of pick and choose what suits them the best. We often get people, you know, joining after a problem already arises, which is unfortunate because then they're under pressure and they don't have the time really to do things perhaps correctly. However, some of the, many of the solutions that we have are pretty quick, simple, and easy if they're used at the proper time, and that's usually at the very beginning. Uh, having said that, uh, to answer your question, there are various options, all right? There are things that they can derive right from the member resources that we have that, that could very well suit their needs. We have other resources um, available from third parties that offer specialized services all right. So Xavier, I was just saying any one of the above. There are many resources within the law club that a person can use right off the bat. And then there's also additional optional services by third party service providers that we have vetted and have high confidence in. OK, so uh, so did you have a follow up to that, Xavier? Sorry. No, that's perfect. Thank you. All right. OK, so that's courtroom procedure. Next, we have legal status. All right, that's, that's a hugely popular subject matter. People are really wanting... <laughs> it's funny because, you know, all the talk about uh, Trump wanting to put up the wall, uh, there's, there's a, a, just a ton of people trying to get out <laughs> rather than trying to keep people from coming in. There's a lot of people just wanting to get out. And so legal status is hugely popular. Many people are starting to understand the difference between a U.S. citizen and an American and uh, what that entails. And you know what? There are a number of ways to go about this. You know, a lot of folks are, you know, going after trying to, you know, uh, become the secured creditor over the SESTIC uh, trust and uh, use that process with the UCC and so on and so forth. There's several other routes you can take to accomplish that very same thing, uh, which are perhaps a little bit more practical and easy to follow. And uh, we discuss those. All right. Um, you know, I talk often, you know, there are people that really feel they're not in a position to go the full uh, boat as far as getting rid of their uh, U.S. citizenship. And so we talk about creating a parallel existence uh, where you maintain a super low profile in the system, but then create a whole new universe for yourself outside the system. That can be done. Uh, you can get out entirely. Uh, you can do that officially through the UCC1 uh, process. Uh, you can do that using other processes. All right. So again, we have options. And so that would mean that uh, depend, depending on what your particular circumstances might be, chances are one of those options would suit you, okay? Again, it's always nice to have options, and we're trying to provide as many as we can. Comments or questions about that? Hi, Mark. This is Dave from Massachusetts. Hey, Dave. Good to hear from you. What's up? I'm having a hard time. Uh, the link in the, from the email isn't getting me anywhere. It just comes up to a blank screen. I can't see anything. I, the only, I can just hear you through the phone. Ah, okay. All right. Yeah, I just uh, just wanted to tell you. I tried restarting and it did the same thing, so I'm not exactly sure. 
What browser are you trying to use? I'm in Mozilla. Okay. Yeah, this system instructs people to use Chrome, if at all possible, for best results. Okay, I'll try that. Yeah, yeah. That could be the issue. All right, good. Thanks for that. Hey, Mark. Yeah. Veronica who's from Chattanooga. Yeah, Veronica. How you doing, brother? Yeah, doing good. What's up? Uh, well, you know, when you was talking about legal statuses, you know, my I uh, I think I kept you up on my uh, previous uh, endeavor. And uh, what I did is, if you remember you were talking about legal status, and does it, is that dealing with uh, sovereignty, or are you talking about something in particular? As far as legal status? Yes, sir. I don't really refer to sovereignty because, really, I don't believe there is uh, personal sovereignty uh, from, okay. from the standpoint that, uh, you know, the Bible says we're either, either a slave to man or a slave to God, all right, or to yes, Christ. Sir. And that's, that's the position that I take. And so I make my yes, choice. I take my make yes, my sir. choice there, and uh, I proceed accordingly. Uh, plus the fact that typically people that use that term that has a stigma attached to it, and it's it's not particularly okay. positive. So uh, okay. just for term terminology, um, just to kind of let you know how I look at that. Okay, so that would not be uh, something that you would uh, suggest. Uh, as far as uh, uh, legal status and, and things like that, right? So basically all I need to do is just not use uh, uh, the stuff that they, you know, that they use, right? That would be the basic matter, right? Well, again, there's different approaches you can take, and um, those are the things that we get into in in the membership, yes, all right? With We have yes, workshops sir. and sample documents and discussions and, you know, the forum uh, where members can discuss their experiences, pros and cons and stuff like that. So again, there's always a number of different resources that members can draw upon to, uh, okay. you know, to verify information. Maybe you've got information and you don't, you don't, you got it from somewhere else. And heck, most of our information does come from somewhere else. You know, we're kind of a melting yes, pot. And that's one of the benefits of the membership, whereby members who have experience with other groups, other processes, uh, other people yeah, right. can bring that yeah. in and discuss their experience with it and help other members to say, hey, this works, that doesn't work, I like this better. You know, it's, uh, it's a great filter. Well, you know, uh, my, my previous experience as far as legal, you know, as far as legal status and things like that, you know, like I, you know, I think I expressed it to you, it was dealing with driving. And, you know, there's a proof and fact there is no driver's license law and this and that. You know, we we all know about that as far as this group as, as a whole, as far as the family as a whole, because I look at Lighthouse as a family right now. But uh, mm -hmm. uh, when I approached that situation and said I was focused on it, the next thing you know, I went downhill from there. And the hellhounds came in and they snatched me up, and that's the reason why I've been out of process. So what I'm asking right now, Mark, is uh, what would you suggest that I do to be able to continue to maintain, because that's the reason I haven't been working, because they not allow me to drive. You know what I'm saying? I know I can drive, but I'm trying to get myself in a position where at least if I do drive, I can go somewhere and, and get me some type of little, you know, some kind of little job, because you know, I've told you my, my situation and my circumstances and things of that nature. And you asked me in an email, what am I doing to get past those obstacles? So yeah. I'm looking for, uh, you know, other avenues. You know what I'm saying? Since that's something that you look at to not be something that's worthy of looking into or it's going to put a certain stigma or what have you, what other way do you suggest? as far as where I'm at right now while I'm building this with you and the Lighthouse family? Well, my whole position, and this is a, a, a big view, uh, a big picture view, a landscape view of uh, how I look at things, and it, it doesn't necessarily provide the immediate uh, short-term answers that some people are looking for. Yeah, in the big picture, uh, the, really the last thing you want is a job. What you need to have is a business. OK, and we spend right. a lot of time on that. I'll be talking about that. Uh, so that way you don't need to drive uh, and you don't want to drive. And uh, right. as a member, you'll learn basically how to um, how to handle that situation. Uh, you yes, know, we've sir. got we've got members that are motoring themselves, you know, up one side, down the other. 
of town, and um, right. they don't have any of the uh, the state identifiers. <laughs> right, just put it right, way. right. That's what I'm trying to establish. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's what that's what we're all about in the law club, and you know I can't address that now, but that's what we're talking about, you know, in in the law club, and that's that's why people need to be members to learn these things. There is no simple answer; it's a process. Okay, yes, uh, there's sir. a lot of fundamentals involved. So, uh, so that's the Thank idea. Thank you for keeping it simple, Mark. <laughs> All, right. All right. I like the way you talk, man. <laughs> <laughs> Never up well, <laughs> all right. I'm, still I'm still tickled, okay? All right. Very good. Thanks for the input and uh, <laughs> best wishes on your challenges. We all have challenges, Thank you for right? the help. So, yeah, we all have challenges, and uh, we need to get through those. And the best time to, to prepare for that is before problems arise, right? All right. Once you got a problem, not it's just it's just very difficult at that point in time. So, uh, you know, it's human nature that people, uh, you know, don't want to fix it if it's not broke. And so we wait, we wait uh, until there's pain before we get the medicine. Um, but you know what I'm talking about. Preventative medicine is much cheaper and easier to take. All right. So with that, uh, let's move on. So legal status is a huge issue. And uh, again, there's different ways of going about that. It's nice to have options. Um, some are more practical than others, depending on what your situation is. Okay. Now here's a topic everybody likes to talk about is the IRS. And, um, you know, all I wanted to put on this slide was that non-taxpayers pay no income taxes. Isn't that something? So you don't want to avoid paying your taxes and you certainly don't want to evade paying your taxes. That's all illegal. It'll get you into a bunch of trouble. You just need to position yourself so that you're a non-taxpayer. All right. And even if you have a job uh, working for the, a corporation, there are ways to position yourself. In fact, the, you may be aware of the tax bill that was just signed into law by President Trump right before Christmas. There are elements within the new tax bill that basically eliminate income taxes on labor. All right, and uh, I'll be working on that specifically with some members in drawing up some uh, documentation, pulling the research together that people will be able to present to their employers basically to uh, eliminate withholding, okay? So think about the withholdings that come out of your check. What does that add up to in a year's time, you know? Uh, only you know the answer to that, but would that help to pay for your membership in the law club? If you could pocket those withholdings that are now being taken out, all right? So that brings up an interesting aspect. Um, so that's that. Now, income taxes is just one element. Uh, we're on the leading edge of property taxes Dealing with that issue, there are some very interesting developments coming to the fore in regards to um, how to properly position property and land, which as opposed to real estate, and understand those are legal terms that mean different, completely different things, real estate and land or property. So there's some very interesting things coming about in regards to property taxes. Um, let me just leave it at that. And there are all kinds of other taxes that, guess what, apply to U.S. citizens. So if we go back to legal status and look at uh, what the liabilities of Americans might be as opposed to U.S. citizens, well, now we've got an entirely different picture, don't we? Okay? An entirely different picture. So Think about the taxes that you pay, property taxes, income taxes, withholding taxes, all these things. Think about being able to keep that money. What would you do with it? Okay, how would you better your life? How would you advance further in life if you didn't have to pay those darn things? Okay, so um, Nancy asks, does that include FICA? Absolutely. Yeah, basically it's Social Security. I'm trying to come up with the, what's behind the acronym there. Yeah, yeah. So if, you're, if your legal status is such 
that you're not one of those people to whom the law applies, then uh, obviously you're in a different category, and those would not apply. Okay, so again, it comes back to legal status and understanding who you are and how to handle yourself in respect to some of these issues. All right, it's entirely liberating uh, once once you gain the confidence to be able to do that. Okay, taxes are a huge issue. And if you can free yourself from those, it's a big deal. Changes your life, okay? So now that you're not paying the withholding and property taxes, income taxes, hopefully you're able to uh, save and invest a little bit more and start accelerating your growth towards a retirement plan, towards a net worth, towards a, a, a private business that is uh, growing and developing, creating greater cash flow for you. Your new modus operandi is going to need some protective vehicles to operate through. And so you learn to stop doing business in your name or the name of the Cystic A Trust, and you start operating through private trusts. All right. You then kind of tend to disappear off of the landscape, off the horizon. Okay because you're not putting your name on everything that you do. I mean, think about it. You go to the grocery store, you probably have a discount card. You're on the database of the grocery store. Uh, they know your purchases, they know what you do. Uh, you, you, get, you go get a health club membership, you do it in your name. Uh, you do newspaper or magazine subscriptions, that's in your name, you know? Everything you do is using your name, okay? So you learn to stop doing that and operating through private trusts and all of a sudden, uh, you start to disappear off the databases. And as a result, you start getting a lot less uh, junk mail and uh, solicitation calls in the evening. And uh, the best thing is, you know, you don't have the, the government harangers tracking you down, looking to drag you into court for whatever they can to drum up some business. All right? That's what it's all about. So the new modus operandi is something that uh, people need to learn how to achieve okay so let me review some questions nancy's asking how long does the change of status process take well if you've got an auto insurance bill due february 18th it'll take longer than that nancy <laughs> okay it takes more than three weeks uh, i guess that'll answer your question directly yeah but uh Again, everything is a process, and it's based on education. And how long does it take depends largely on how committed you are to learn some of these things, you know, and get some of these things into place. And again, it's not difficult. It's not terribly complicated. You don't need to be a genius to do this stuff. Uh, it just takes commitment, one step at a time, okay? Take care of the first step, the second step. Keep moving and learn, understand what you're doing. Don't just fill out templates and, and throw paperwork around thinking you're going to accomplish anything. You, you've got to be able to stand, if necessary, in front of a judge and hold your position verbally from your own internalized knowledge. And when you can do that, uh, you'll be unbeatable. That's how it works, okay? And people are doing it right and left. All right. Uh, private trust is something that, uh, in fact, we just had a member's call this week on Monday focused on this particular issue, working with different members to provide trustee services. We have, and I know you hear this from other providers, but we have the most solid educational material on the most unique and powerful trust documents in existence, okay? There are providers out there that will say similar things, but I'd be more than willing to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe in a public debate with any of them and discuss the issue, you know, in a friendly manner. We're very strong in that area. Let me just put it that way, okay? Learn to operate through private trusts, and that deals with the issue of personal privacy, right? I just kind of alluded to that fact where... You know, really, we need to learn how to drop off the radar and kind of become invisible. Uh, we live in the age of surveillance and data, and uh, everything is starting to be 
uh, tied together so that you can't do one thing without having the other. And really, it's becoming spooky. It's becoming very spooky the way the way things are tied together into a centralized intelligence gathering system that is completely linked globally. So if you don't start making inroads now to protecting and preserving your personal privacy, um, I don't know when it's going to be too late, but every day that goes by, we're getting closer to the total surveillance state. So all I can say is the sooner that you start working on that, the better off you're going to be. Dave asks that if there are someone to ask questions as problems arise. Yes, of course. Um, there's always, we have a uh, Skype group, a Skype support group for members, where if you've got a short question, you want just a quick answer, you can get it in real time, typically. Uh, if I'm not online, there are others online, members uh, who can likely respond, provide that for you. We have a members forum where you can post uh, comments, questions, experiences, and interact with other members. And, uh, you know, if you're in a crunch situation, I do make myself available, you know, for consulting on a scheduled basis. And, um, and so that's always available as well. So there's a number of ways you can interact with other people to get support on the various issues that you might, uh, you might be uh, dealing with. Okay. So personal privacy is a huge issue. And people, you know, the common discussion, the common reaction to this is, these days, and you've heard it a hundred times, well, why do you need privacy if you don't have anything to hide? And my reaction to that, you may have heard me say this before, is that I have, I'm not doing anything wrong and I have everything to hide. Why? Because my business is none of your business other than what I care to share. And that's my choice, not somebody else's. All right? If you don't have privacy, you don't have security. It's that simple. I mean, we hear stories all the time about hackers, you know, getting millions of names and addresses and credit card numbers. This is just going on all the time from the telephone companies, you know, from from the internet companies, you know, from the public utilities, millions and millions, from the government. The government's being hacked. And, uh, and those are just the hackers. What about the people that have uh, use and access to that information on a legal basis? We just talked about how the government's looking to drum up business by dragging people into court for one reason or another, whatever, the, whatever they can concoct. And it doesn't matter whether you're, you're innocent or not. That's irrelevant. All right? So without personal privacy, you have no security. It's that simple. All right? So we need to learn how to protect our privacy, drop off the radar, the databases. And again, this ties back into uh, your new MO, operating through private trusts, right? So all these things are tied together. You see, none of these is an island that stands alone, okay? So, all right, so you know about personal privacy. Yeah, you know, uh, we get a lot of inquiries, people saying, hey, Mark, I got this situation, I got that situation, what should I do, what can I do? And, you know, I'm not in the business of giving advice, right, especially to the public. So everything we do is within the context of the membership, and this is where you can learn to deal with these issues. Again, it's much easier to deal with them before an issue comes up. If you've got an issue, okay, all I can say is to join the, the law club and start learning. You know, the longer you wait, the, the longer it's going to take for you to become proficient in any given, any given area. Okay. So with that said, uh, you likely know about our video series, Run, Bankers, Run. <laughs> and uh, I'm very pleased with, with that series and the information it contains. You've likely seen some of the videos on our YouTube page. And uh, I think most of us are learning, uh, coming to understand that uh, just the, the way mortgages are created is fraudulent. It's not just this one or that one, some bad actors got involved. No. It's just the whole system is based on fraud, all right? And, and I'm, I presume you understand that, okay? So I'll proceed on that basis. 
But being that it is systemic fraud, this means that there is tremendous opportunity to attack that fraud, expose it, and bring actions against the actors involved. And uh, not only in the case of mortgage fraud, can you get that mortgage uh, eliminated, destroyed, melted, nuked, blown to smithereens, and end up with a house free and clear, but you've been damaged by that fraud, and there are people that have won millions of dollars of damages as a result of that fraud, okay? Now, be clear that the education the law club provides will give you a sound basis for understanding much of this, but the actual services provided in this are third-party services, okay? So they have their own separate fee structures for the things that they do. Um, so just be aware of that, okay, with full disclosure. Mm -hmm. That being the case, how much would you save in an, on an annual basis or even two or three years if you didn't have to make that mortgage payment? All right. How much could it change your life if you were able to get something? I'm not even going to say pick a number, but something significant in damages could possibly set you up for life, okay? So these are things that have a very serious impact on people's lives and can make all the difference in their future outlook, uh, to be quite blunt about it, all right? So, um, so that's a huge issue. Comments or questions on that? I'm reading a couple of texts here. Michael asks, what do you think about noticing the system of your claim upon the birth certificate following the basic process of Minnesota 220 and then filing uh, doing business as fictitious name of Minnesota 333. Um, Michael, I've, I've, uh, people have pointed those things out to me, but I'm not particularly uh, well versed in uh, the specifics of what you're addressing. So as much as I would like to uh, address that, I don't really have an answer for you. That's why networking with other members in the law club can be so valuable because uh, if I don't have an answer, others likely do. Okay, so that's that. And, you know, that's a good point right there because the law club doesn't have all the answers. The law club cannot solve all your problems. But given a level of commitment on your part and a certain amount of time to develop a plan of action and implement it, chances are we can solve an awful lot of the problems that are out there. Not all of them. And some of them take more time than you might like. So we don't have all the answers. And we can't solve everything right now. All right. But if you're going to achieve any of these things, you need to think about making the commitment to start preparing yourself and positioning yourself uh, as soon as possible so that, uh, you know, it's, it's amazing how fast time goes by, doesn't it? And if you're doing just a little bit every day, pretty soon it'll be a year from now. And pretty soon after that, it'll be two years from now. And if you waste that time, guess what? You haven't advanced in any way. If you take advantage of that time and make a commitment to start chipping away at those uh, chains that bind you, you know, it could be in a year's time, two years' time, you could be totally free, okay? So we have to have realistic expectations. You know, we're not mir miracle workers here. Okay. Michael's asking how long the networking within the law club works. Do we have user accounts? Yeah, you are able to, uh, um, uh, members at the constitutional commando level and above, which would include global entrepreneur, and now we have the stealthy capitalist level. I'll talk about those in a minute. Uh, are able to log in to the members area where we have exclusive information, and uh, that's where the members forum is. You'll be able to uh, review conversations by other members, learn from that, post your own questions, interact with other members through the forum, through the Skype support group, sometimes with the, the web conferences that we have and so forth, okay? So again, various ways to uh, interact there. So now, we talked about mortgages, how about debt elimination? There are other forms of debt, you know, uh, credit cards, student loans, unsecured loans, finance agreements, stuff like that. People often ask about, you know, car loans, you know, what can I, 
does this debt elimination work for car loans? Well, yeah, you can probably eliminate your debt, but um, you know you're dealing with criminals, right? And uh, chances are they're going to come and steal your car. Okay. I got some stories about that. I'll save them for another time. <laughs> they're kind of fun. Uh, you can get my book to get some of them anyway. But uh, anyway, think about eliminating your credit card debt in uh, student loans, unsecured debts, uh, things like that. Your auto loan is a secured debt. So you're likely going to have problems with that no matter how right you might be. You know the old saying, it's, it's dangerous to be right when your government is wrong. So, so we have to tread lightly on there and evaluate, uh, you know, the, the risks versus the rewards. But think about what your life could be like if, uh, if you were able to eliminate, you know, your unsecured debts. And again, that's a, uh, uh, another collaborator that we work with who provides that service uh, outside of the law club. But we can, uh, we can accomplish that. All right. And that that starts to get pretty fun. So, so far we've eliminated, uh, uh, we've talked about eliminating income taxes, potentially property taxes, mortgage payments, now our unsecured debt and credit cards, and uh, start thinking about how that might change your life. Okay. So comments or questions about that before I move on? Shanice from Connecticut. Hi, Shanice. Shanice, go ahead. Yes, I... I saw your series, and I was wondering about um, recoupment and money of account. Do you guys go over that? Recoupment. Uh, elaborate. What do you mean, recoupment? Well, I, I saw a series about um, Beat the Bankers, and it's uh, about uh, recouping, making a recoupment regarding the note. Okay, yeah, there was a service that we had available some time back called Recoup the Note, and uh, people were getting checks for the uh, amount of the the full amount of the note that they signed, and they created that credit. If you understand how that works, when you sign the note, you created the credit that you ultimately um, received the money on. Uh, the banker says they lent you the money, but they lent you not their money, but your own money. And uh, long story short, that service was working very, very well until such a time as it got to be a little bit too popular. And the people involved in the financial system uh, started uh, illegally denying information and proper responses. And so that service basically has... Uh, is no longer available. It's not working anymore. It worked for a time, and the criminals uh, just decided they weren't going to respond uh, the way they were lawfully required to do. So that's not available anymore. Okay. And what else was there? Okay. Uh, money of account. Yeah, that's just a term, a legal term. Money of account of the United States, which basically has never been defined. And so... Uh, you can sometimes offer to make a payment in money of account of the United States, provided that they can define exactly what that is. And since it's not defined in any legislation, it really doesn't exist. So it presents a very interesting situation. Uh, it's, not a, it's not a practical uh, thing that I would recommend you, know, you look into, but it does, it, does, it does make for some fun if you want to have some fun uh, with these people and and uh, start putting them back in the corner. Yeah, so there's that's not something okay. that uh, there would be a practical means for you to apply to achieve really any benefit. Um, I did okay. it. I used I used it to acquire a Mercedes, but uh, you don't want to do that. I just tell you right now. <laughs> All right, thanks, Denise. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, let me go through here. Trying to read Nancy's questions. You got a list of them, huh, Nancy? Trying to get elimination of loans. What could be risky given the government? Uh, trying to remember what you said. Mm. Not sure what you mean by that, Nancy. Um, like I said, when you're, when you're dealing with the government, you know you're dealing with criminals, right? We're finding that out, especially more and more as uh, Trump starts draining the swamp. You're hearing more of that if you're listening to alternative news. You learn that everything is corrupt. Everything, no matter where you go in the institutionalized world, is corrupt. Okay, so you have to understand 
that when you present the criminals with the truth and with the law, nothing is guaranteed, okay? You need to be prepared to stand your ground strongly, which means you need to understand what you're doing. A lot of folks will try a process, and the first time you know a, a breeze of contention comes back or a little bit of blowback comes back at them, they just collapse because they don't know how to respond, or they, they collapse in fear. Okay, and uh, then and then they say, "Well, this doesn't work." Well, no, it's not that. It's, it's not. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is sustained combat, Nancy. Uh, you know, you gotta you gotta do more than throw the pitch. You know, if the ball gets hit back at you, you gotta be prepared to catch it. <laughs> okay, uh, and that's where your knowledge comes into play. All right. Uh, so again, a lot of people start throwing template forms around, and then as soon as uh, if they don't get an immediate surrender letter, they go, oh, well, this didn't work. Well, no, you didn't work it properly, okay? you got to stand your ground, all right? Enough said on that, debt elimination. We're making progress, all right? So now that you've eliminated debt, uh, a lot of your taxes, mortgage payments, uh, uh, liability for lawsuits, things like that, all right, we need to start talking about independence total independence and this is where this is where people get hung up they really get hung up on this and i don't understand why because to me it's just a no-brainer you need to develop new sources of cash flow all right if you've got a job one of your first priorities should be to get rid of that job that's what's tying you down to the corporate treadmill you're subject to everything you're trying to get away from if you've got a corporate job. Now, that's hard medicine to take for some people who, you know, have built up a career. Their identity is, is, is built up in, in what they do and the accomplishments they've made and, you know, all these things. It's hard to do, you know, because our ego is wrapped up in that quite often. All right. But if, if, if you'd rather serve your ego living in the institutionalized world, well, then fine. That's nothing wrong with that. Um, but quit thinking about freedom because, you know, it's not for you. All right. If you're truly thinking about being a free individual, you need to have your own way of sustaining yourself economically. And that requires new sources of cash flow. And so... You know, a lot of folks are a little bit dismayed at all of the time and emphasis that we put on this particular subject, but really what it comes down to, I see a lot of people, oh, Mark, I, I want to join the law club, but, you know, I just can't afford it. Uh, or, oh, Mark, I want to do this, I want to do that, but I don't have the money. Well, we've developed programs to help you generate the money to do that. But I'll tell you right now, 95% of the people don't take advantage of it. Really, you know, I think some people prefer just to, to be a victim and be complaining all their life, and, uh, and they're just comfortable in that. And that's their MO, that's their ID. Okay, fine. But those people just need to leave us alone. We're not interested in wasting our time with that type of individual. We are productive progressive, forward-thinking individuals in the law club who are doing things, accomplishing things, advancing in our life, achieving a higher level of freedom, all right? And really, everything starts, maybe this should have been the first slide, but everything starts with having enough cash flow to not only sustain yourself, but also to invest in your infrastructure that's going to carry you forward. And yes, there will be an investment that's required. If you want to really set yourself up in the proper way with the trusts, the banking, uh, investments, uh, set yourself up to be financially free and safe, secure, private, you're going to need to have the cash flow to do that. Okay? So it doesn't matter what anybody you know says about that. But that's a reality that we have to deal with. And you know what? The system has us all uh, in such a poor condition economically. And beyond that, I would say psychologically, because many people simply don't have the proper mindset to do what it takes to be successful in business. 
All right. Now we address all of these things. We have the, as you know, the digital nomad training system. We also have an inner circle success team group, which uh, is more geared towards uh, our, our affiliates. And uh, we provide training on all of this mindset. We spend a fair amount of time on having the proper mindset and what it takes to succeed in these arenas. All right. Those of you that have been around, you, you've heard me talk about some of the courses that I've taken. Uh, one was $2,500. Another was $10,000. And I've been doing uh, seminars and learning so much information really my whole life. And I'm, uh, I'll be 60 this year. So that's a good 40 years of, uh, of seminars. And a lot of that's boiled down into the training that we provide our members and participants. All right. So again, maybe that's not for you. Uh, you've got your own uh, thing you want to do, and that's fine. Everybody has their own path they have to follow. But we provide the solutions for those who are willing to make the commitment. That's the bottom line. Okay, You're going to need a business structure. You're going to need some training. You're going to need multiple streams of revenue to support you in this endeavor. All right, And, that's, uh, and we provide all that uh, through various means. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about that here in a second. Okay. Xavier is asking, given what the criminals have done by shouting down or shutting down the government before Trump's year was complete, is it better to pursue this outside the country? Well, it's just common sense. You know, in investments, you always want to um, diversify your risk, right? Uh, uh, spread the risk by having a diversified portfolio of investments. I mean, that's just common sense. So the same thing comes with your country. Do you have all your eggs in one basket? Does your whole life depend on what happens in the USA? Uh, economy, finances, politics, uh, social insurrections, uh, who knows what? If you've got everything wrapped up in one single jurisdiction, you're asking for trouble. That's the bottom line. So obviously, you'd be smart to diversify internationally. And uh, that's also something that we will get into, okay, that we do get into. All right, now, many of you are familiar with the affiliate program. This is something people can do for free. You don't need to have any money to join this, okay? Um, we do have some tools that you're going to probably want to have that will cost a little bit, but those come from third-party sources that are going to help you develop your business. We provide training for free, high-level training. And in this affiliate program, you can earn commissions as low as $150 to $1,100 to $3,000. We're basically talking high-ticket items, all right? We're talking about high-ticket uh, sales opportunity utilizing the resources that we have here at the Law Club. Now, let me ask you, based on the things that we covered, taxes, mortgage, privacy, asset protection, things like that, who in this world couldn't use something like that that has any type of income or success or assets, net worth, right? All right, now, obviously, you know, people that are homeless uh, probably are not the candidates for this, but you take people that are productive and active in the economy, and people need these solutions. There's nowhere else to get these, really, in the collection that we have put together here in the law club. All right, so this creates a tremendous opportunity for those who are looking to create a business, get free training, and generate high-level commissions. All right, we have a video on this. You can see that in our YouTube channel. Uh, so this is one way to solve the financial hurdles that many people have, okay? But you know what? It's not going to work for you if you don't commit to it. And by, you know, making a commitment means that's not saying, well, I'll give it a try and see if it works. I hear that all the time. Well, okay, I'll give it a try. And you know what? Don't even bother. Because if all you're going to do is try, that means probably at the at the first stiff wind, the first stiff headwind against you, you're going to quit. And I'm sorry, I don't mean to come across having an edge, um, but some people need that. You know, I, I'm, I just I just tell it like it is, uh, and I let you know how I feel about it. And uh, life's too short 
to be coddling people that just are not committed to success. And that's what we're here for in a law club. We're committed to success in advancing people forward that are really willing to make that commitment. And honestly, I have dealt with far too many people that uh, talk a good game, but when it comes down to it, they just don't do anything. All right. So obviously there's a, a line in the sand there we have to draw and we got to find out who's serious. That's all. It's just very simple. Who's serious and who's not. OK, so the affiliate program, you got financial problems. Here's your solution right there. So now that you're saving all this money in taxes and um, fees and uh, mortgage payments and all these things, you're able to start putting something away. You've developed a, a business now that's generating cash flow. It's growing. You're doing well. You've got extra money. What do you do with it? How do you keep it out of the hands out of, of the criminal bankers? And uh, don't get me started on that. Uh, <laughs> uh, bankers are, are the, the cause for most of the world's problems, right? There and, and then. So, um, so we've obviously created an ecosystem, a chain of evolution where you can start on the low economic end as a free affiliate, work yourself up into a position where you've got extra cash flow, where now you can start diversifying internationally, protecting the cash flow and the assets that you're uh, building and accumulating. And we even provide alternative banking solutions uh, which you likely know about if you've looked at our global entrepreneur level membership. Okay, that's an upgrade from the constitutional commando. So um, that's a whole nother area that we get into. Started getting, starting to get into some uh, sophisticated financial concepts, infrastructure, tools, and strategies. All right, comments or questions on that? Nancy asks, does this program need daytime hours? No. Do what you want when you want. Do what you can when you can. Flexible, customized, do, do what you want, all right? Hey, Mark. Yeah. This is Veronica again. I just want to tell you I'm enjoying this conference. I needed this. I like yeah. the way you talk. Okay. Well, I mean, uh, I like the straightforward. I can handle that. And thank you for motivating me because I'm on it. I'm beating the pavement. I'm doing it. All you right. See, you are my well, inspiration. I'm serious. This is good for me, man. It's rocky. You told me that. You said it wasn't going to be easy. You told me that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. And right now, I needed this conversation. Mr. Emery, brother. Well, Emery. you know, a lot of people do. A lot of people do. Thank and, you. Uh, all I right. needed well, this. Now you got to go do something with it. All right. Thanks, Veronica. I'm putting you back on mute so we can continue. Great. Okay. Um, so there we go with the private banking. All right. So the question is, do you want to continue living like this? This is how most people live, in the gulag, under control, under surveillance, within the fences, within the parameters. Don't step out of line. Don't talk out of line. Uh, be careful what you post on Facebook. People in Germany are getting arrested for, for posting things on Facebook, just, you know, saying, hey, this immigration thing is terrible. Uh, they go to jail for that. And that's where the U.S. is headed. You know about the, uh, you know, the censorship that Facebook and Twitter are doing and, you know, how the, 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 you know, the liberals are trying to, you know, control everything, uh, turning everything into hate speech, you know, accusing everybody of being racists and Russians and, uh, you know, we, we've basically turned into George Orwell's 1984 world, all right? And uh, as good as uh, Trump might be doing, uh, we still have a long way to go, a long way to go, all right? The world is controlled by globalists who are Satan worshipers, controllers. They want to own you, control you, and ultimately kill you. I think you know that. That's not an extreme statement. It's fact and reality. You can look up yourself if you're not convinced yet. All right. But this is the world we live in. And there are very few escape routes available. Sure, you can go find all kinds of uh, legal gurus that, you know, uh, have these systems and programs and this and that. 
nobody has the collection of services and options and solutions that the law club has. Nobody. There's nobody out there doing what we're doing in the way that we're doing it. And we're not putting forth theories or ideas, okay? What you'll find here are things that have worked for me. That's 80% of what we have. I've got personal experience, so I can speak with authority on that. And then, of course, we've got our other members who have their own experiences. All right, so this is the real deal. You got to decide. You want to you wanna live like this or do you want to live like this? You know, the choice is basically yours. So let me explain the levels of membership, all right? We can start with the free affiliate. You don't need any money to, to be a free affiliate, okay? If you're not familiar with how to do that, ask the person who invited you. If you don't have a connection there, just go to our YouTube channel, look for the video, and you'll see links in the description underneath the video on the affiliate program, okay? Next, we have, for those that are not quite ready to join as a constitutional commando, which is really the full membership where you want to begin, all right? You want to begin at least at the constitutional commando level, which is $1,500. And for the value that we've got here, that's an absolute steal. That's peanuts for the value that you get. I think you've seen that, all right? Uh, if, that's, if you're not quite ready for that, we have a layaway plan, which uh, we call the Pathfinder membership. You make a $500 deposit, and you've got six months then to make up the balance, which of course you can do with the commissions you earn on the uh, affiliate program or otherwise. As a Pathfinder, you will not have the full member benefits. You won't be able to log into the members area or you know, dig into specific issues. What you're going to get, you're going to get a weekly lesson in the email. One email every week, which will keep you more than busy working out your strategic plan. You'll have access through those video, through those emails, you'll have access to uh, video workshops, uh, sample documents, audio recordings, a whole multimedia assortment of educational materials that will move you along week by week, okay? So the Pathfinder membership is our layaway plan. You can start with $500 deposit, work your way up from there, and uh, you'll have some tremendous value and information in that program. Also included, a new benefit that we've just added in the Pathfinder membership is the IRS Freedom Course. We are now in tax season. That may be of particular interest if you expect to have any uh, taxes to pay or issues with the IRS. And whether you do or not, you still need the IRS Freedom Course so you can position yourself so that they will never, ever be a nuisance in your life. Walk away free fly away free as a bird, just like in this graphic, okay? So the IRS Freedom Course is now included in the Pathfinder membership. So the Pathfinder, we've got the Constitutional Commando. If you're really serious, um, thinking more in terms of long-term uh, financial planning, asset protection, getting set up right away with an international business trust, uh, getting into alternative, alternative banking, then you want to consider our Global Entrepreneur Membership. That's $39.50. That includes an international business trust with trustee services, access to our private asset management system, and uh, uh, a whole new world of education on advanced financial concepts and international planning. And then lastly, we have just introduced the Stealthy Capitalist Private Consulting Package, that is a customized, hands-on, uh, done-with-you program where you'll have a personal consulting on a regular basis, walking you through the steps you need to accomplish to reach the goals that you have for yourself. It's not necessarily a preset program, but a plan will be devised for the needs that you might have. And that is geared for higher net worth individuals, business owners, successful coaches and consultants, people with, with a reasonable net worth and cash flow that they want to start thinking of protecting, okay? So uh, so we go all the way from the free affiliate uh, at the starting gate 
up to a, up to the higher level um, high net worth individuals with the stealthy capitalist and everything in between. So I think you can see that um, we've pretty much thought of everything based on where a person might be. So no matter where you might be economically, legally, or otherwise, we've got a place where you can fit in. All right. So comments or questions so far? Hi, um, just one quick question. What do you think about 1099 OID? Uh, stay away from it. Okay. People have gotten into trouble with that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me say this. There are various uh, approaches out there, and people are promoting processes to try and get money out of the government. Okay. Um, different ways. The OID is one of those ways. Um, you know, forget about all that. You don't need money from the government. You know, I want to collapse the trust and, and liquidate my bond and, you know, get millions of dollars. Well, that's all great. But you know what? Chances are 99.99% uh, .99 of the population is never going to accomplish that. And probably about uh, maybe 80% of the people who try it will have some level of grief as a result. Okay. My best recommendation for consideration is to learn to be free and walk away from this, and I really want to swear right now, but I'm not going to, walk away from this jinxed, satanic system. Just walk away from it. Turn your back on it. Walk away. Learn to be independent and just say sayonara. I don't belong here anymore. See ya. Okay? That's it. And you walk away free into your own self-made infrastructure for self-sustainability and long-term prosperity and freedom. Just turn your back on the government, walk away. Don't try to get anything out of them. You're just going to get grief. All right. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah. Okay, folks, what else we got here? Carlos looking for a courtroom watcher, meaning provide this information to those with current court issues. Is there any printable layouts? that can be passed out giving connections through my back page that I can cover the cost. I'm trying to make some sense out of that, Carla. You want to pass out information to people in court, court issues. I'm not sure what kind of information you're looking to distribute. I do know of, uh, oh, you mean as an affiliate. I do know that uh, maybe you're aware of the FIJA, Fully Informed Jury Association. They often pass out information to people walking into the courthouse to inform jurors of their rights and responsibilities, which are by law and by conscience are contrary to the instructions they're going to get from the judge. And I know they've run into uh, some problems, some uh, resistance from the powers that be for handing out flyers, but they just won a uh, case in Colorado um, on the basis that that's free speech. I probably w wouldn't suggest that, uh, going to court with a flyer. Uh, I think there's other ways to find people. In fact, I just sent out an email today to our affiliates. If you are on our Inner Circle Success Team mailing list, a uh, very detailed uh, email on how to successfully make contact and establish relationships with successful business people, which um, really is our target market for the higher end membership levels. And as an affiliate, that's where you're going to make more money, right? So, um, so that's that. Okay, uh, Mauricio, what is the website again? We've got several websites, but the Law Club website is lighthouselaw.club. Lighthouselaw.club. You'll find the law, the Lighthouse Law Club website there. Uh, membership details are on the uh, join page. Look on the top under membership. There's a drop down menu. Join. Okay. Getting close to wrapping it up here. Uh, other comments or questions I can handle for you while you're here. Right to travel? Yes, absolutely we do, Kevin. Lots of resources on right to travel. Been there, done that. Obtaining the uh, manufacturer's uh, statement of origin? Yes, absolutely. Been there, done that. 
Uh, in fact, we just had one of our members uh, just in the last couple of weeks, the vehicle that he was uh, utilizing, which was previously registered to the state, and uh, he's removed it from the registration, and he has it now uh, registered and titled in a non-state private entity. So yes, plenty of information on that. Key element to freedom, being able to uh, travel as a matter of right and not licensed privilege. Okay, folks. Anybody else? Tim in Phoenix. Tim, go ahead. I have a question about, uh, I need help in certain areas, just a little help. Uh -huh. I'm in the Pathfinder program, and okay. I would like to get some help in, um, I purchased the third-party programs like the debt elimination and the IRS Freedom and I'm working my way through those programs. I'm reading them. Uh, but I find my situation, I'm trying to plug myself in and I'm having some trouble getting these forms out, especially for the IRS Freedom. What is the best way to get some help from you other than these once a week emails or do I have to join as the global entrepreneur? Or I'm sorry, the... Uh, Commando. Yeah. Commando. Um, no, if you've got the IRS Freedom course, I provide full support on that. Okay. So you just need to send me an email and uh, we'll connect on that. Okay. And you mentioned them in your book too, the ALC, right? That's where they used to be. ALC. I'm just no. trying to connect all the dots. You know, uh, the book no. and uh, I'm, I'm really, really into it like deep and I'm Good. I had no. to just turn off my computer one day. I couldn't even see straight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, in my book, I referred to ALC. That was the American Law Club. That was the uh, the first law club I had put together in the 90s. Right. In right, Denver. Right. Okay. okay. So that has nothing to do with anything we're doing now. That's old history. Yeah, I'm just barely working. I'm about 120 pages into that book, so. Uh, okay. People on the call, if you haven't read the book, you should start. It's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. You've been a, a big help. Because Great. That's, I look, that's the I idea. I look to go really far with this, this Mark. I look to go really far with this. Well, the One Freeman's it's... War is the name of the book. Okay, yeah, you can find that on Amazon.com, One Freeman's yeah. War. Or I have a, a website dedicated to that, onefreemanswar.com. You can read more about it, get to get a preview and stuff like that if you haven't. You know, I had so many good stories back when I was a uh, troublemaking revolutionary uh, back in the day. Um, I just, I felt that, uh, you know, people can learn so much from this. And really, some of them are so entertaining. I just, ha I just had to put it down. So I uh, that book was actually... Uh, a project of about 20 years. It took me about 20 years to put that together. Now, that doesn't mean I was working on it every day for 20 years. It sat on the shelf for you know long periods of time. But uh, you have no idea the challenges that I had writing it and then manuscripts being lost and have to rewrite it and redo the research. And oh my gosh, it just was really some quite, a, quite a, a, an achievement for me personally I remember when I first got the uh, got the first uh, first copy, the proof, and uh, uh, just the exhilaration, uh, knowing that 20 years of work had come to culmination, and I was holding my book in my hands, published with artwork and everything. So that was really a thrill for me. And uh, hopefully someday, you know, maybe I'm sure you guys have your own stories and experiences and knowledge. Write a book. You know, it's it's not that difficult. You can do it and uh, self-publish. Uh, createspace.com uh, will give you a lot of help. Do that, right? You know, write a book about your stories, your philosophies. Uh, put something down, you know, for your posterity. I had uh, my grandfather uh, started a pharmacy in Chicago back in 1912 when he was a young guy. And he, he was there, you know, for the Al Capone days. The mob was just running up up one side of the street and down the other almost every day. And he knew him well. And he had so many stories. And we often said, you know, uh, you know we got to sit down with Grandpa with a tape recorder and get some of these stories done. And you know what? We never did. And so uh, all of that is, is just lost to history. It's really a shame. So uh, I decided I wasn't going to let that happen. But anyway, 
little background on that. All right, folks, thank you for attending and uh, giving me your uh, undivided attention. All right, take care, everybody. Have a good evening, and I hope to talk to you all real soon, one way or the other. Join the Law Club. You, you'll never regret it.